I think the message that I would give to black student athletes and really just black people in general, you know, we're all hurting, we're all frustrated, angry, uh, the, the emotions go on and on and on. And a lot of it is because we continue to see this happen over and over and over again. And while everything was sparked by George Floyd and the way that he was killed last week, which was, yeah, inhumane in every single sense of the word. I think we use situations and we use times like this where you see people of all colors trying to get, trying to come together to create change. We use these moments. We use these platforms, we use whatever we have right now to be able to go to the education system and be able to go to the politics and getting all the ways to you know, our leadership to create change. But I will say this, you have to create change in your communities, in your cities, in your neighborhoods. You gotta create those type of changes. You gotta see what laws and what things and, and the oppression that's happening in your own neighborhood. What can you do to make a difference? And one by one, because we're not gonna be able to do one thing that's gonna change everything. But one by one, being able to make change in all of our different areas, that's how you create change. So I leave with hope, because I am hopeful that although this has been a devastating situation that we've been dealing with, that I've never seen so many people, black, white, Asian, every single color, joining together to fight for change, and joining together because they know that the system has been broken but now it is our opportunity to make sure that we create that change. That's what we need to do.